So I just got to hang out <clears throat> with a couple of girls, which is not something I usually do. So that was pretty cool, <laughs> man. I was just at the Tennessee Aquarium here in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Best aquarium I've ever been to, by the way. Magnificent. It's going to be in the next YouTube video I, I post on that on my YouTube channel, but I had met these two girls there, two college girls, Lindsay and Cassandra, that were awesome, man. I, I've, been, I've been thinking a lot about what 2022 is gonna be for me. 2021, at the very beginning of the year, I made a commitment. What is the thing I want to accomplish in 2021? What is gonna be the theme of my year? And the word that came back to me vividly when I started 2021 was adventure. Now that I'm 12 months in and I'm about to post the final YouTube video in the Year of Adventure series, I've done adventure pretty damn well. <laughs> I've been to 30 states now this year alone, probably more overall. I've parasailed. I've uh, had encounters with bears. I've locked myself out of my car. I've picked my way back into my car with a pickaxe. I've... I've been on the boats, I've been to national parks, I've been driving, I've been chased by the cops, I've had injuries, I've recovered, I've met friends, seen people, and now what is 2022 going to be for me that I've finished the year of adventure? It's a question I've been thinking about a lot lately, and I think the answer that keeps coming back to me is the word community. So today, after hanging out with these two girls, it came easily, easily, more easily than it usually does for me. And making friends, suddenly we're going on a hike tomorrow out of the blue with just two random girls I met in an aquarium. And that's not something that's usually happened for me in my past, but as life is slowly starting to move this direction, me wanting to become more of a community-driven person that hangs out with more cool people, that share values I love, that make me a better person, that inspire me. Slowly I'm being presented with those opportunities. So the question I have for you, if you've listened to this whole audio, is what is your 2022 going to be? What is the theme of your year going to be? Where is life going to take you in 2022? What do you want to accomplish? What do you want to see? What do you want to feel? Who do you want to be with? These are all questions that are running through my mind right now, and I would recommend that you begin considering them as well, because every year we get to make a decision, and right now we are at a pivotal point where decisions need to be made on the verge of 2022, which will likely be a very exciting year. 